these people are all super spreading. Jenko, in this video, I'm not kidding. Jenko goes, I'm so sick. I'm so sick. And then he goes out. <laughs> let, let me show if I could show you this. But I'm trying to see if I can. Jenko, these people have convinced themselves that co look at Jenko at a doctor's office. And this woman is like, can you please put on a mask? Look at Do what? What am I doing? Tell look at what he's doing. <laughs> Over the plastic thing. Right, I'll put that back. Sorry for touching it. You might He's want to in win. a doctor's office spreading COVID. <laughs> and watch this. I'm not kidding. Look at this. Watch this. This is the same video, same day. Watch this. I was going to say, watch what he's doing. Stopping. <laughs> <laughs> watch you this. Got, you got really impressive. So would you pass me on to the next You're going to die yeah, when you see this. Yeah, Wrap your shit up. We're leaving. Let's go. All right. Watch. Uh, hey guys. Um, remember when I went to the doctor yesterday? I feel miserable, man. I'm, I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. We always forget. So that he's no sick. He has COVID. <laughs> and then, but he's going out everywhere and spreading it. That's nice. It's so weird how some people are just on a whole different level just with like this. Just like Whitney did like a month full of podcasts where she was like coughing and sneezing on all of her guests. And then two days later, she was like, I did have COVID. It's insane. It's like, why are you, you guys like hate the slightest bit of racism? Like if somebody like says they liked an old show from the South, you want to cancel them, but you could go out and spread COVID and literally kill like 700 old people. And you're like, but that's fine. It's a hoax. Look, uh, hey guys, um, it's crazy. Remember when I went to the doctor yesterday. I feel miserable, man. I'm, I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. We always forget that there's other type of colds and shit. Oh, I noticed throughout life I get like sick when I run my body down when I like don't sleep. Enough and by I the way, these COVID tests that they do on camera, they're all fake. They literally these guys like every YouTuber now takes a Q-tip. They're like, dude, if you don't start out your vlog with a Q-tip swap, you're making a mistake. So Logan Paul has taught all these people, you take a Q-tip, and at the beginning of your vlog, you go like this, and you go, negative, ha, ha, ha. And then they all go, oh, he's fine. But they don't get tested. They never wear masks. None of these people do shit. That's why COVID is still around. That's why you keep hearing about it. Not a joke. They're literally, everybody is doing nothing and then complaining that they hate the lockdown. I've never seen anything like it. People in the chat are getting mad now. I get a message probably every five minutes. How can you not understand COVID is not real? This is what they say. Every five minutes of my life, somebody says this to me. I just I can't do? imagine. I can't imagine how scary it must be living in a world where we have a fake disease in the news and everybody is telling you that 400,000 people have died and it's all them lying. That's so scary. Jacob's if that's song, true. I don't need to know who you I with, don't, who you see, and is actually about the people that he meets. The up COVID with argument. That have COVID. He yeah. doesn't need to know. I don't where need. That's been. where I'm at. I'm at the point where I go. I don't even argue with people. I'm at the point where Mike David, the most opinionated guy, who's like so strict on everything, goes, "Oh, if you don't believe in COVID, then no problem." No problem. Because they're so scared. That's okay with me because half of you don't believe in it, even though obviously uh, something's going on. That's the world we live in now, where half the normal people don't believe in the thing that's taken over everything. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't even know what to believe. Sometimes I go, maybe they're right. And then you go, how could they be right? <laughs> when you really think about it, you go, how could the whitest, trashest, most idiotic people of our town be the right ones? Have they ever been the right ones? To, th to think that we're living in a world where we're scared to even say, oh, I think COVID could be real. Oh, I, I don't know. I think COVID could be real. To say COVID is real now is like, you're a fag, you're a loser. That might be the craziest thing that we've ever gone through in our lifetime, in the history of the world. But that's the reality we live in, and I respect it. I even respect your reality 
to say COVID is fake. Think we how graceful. We will deal with the way it is. Think how graceful we're all being where we go, I respect your opinion to believe that something very real is fake. This is what's happening. <laughs> I mean, every influencer and Elon Musk thinks COVID is fake because here's what I think is happening. I'm going to be honest. Don't get mad at me. Obviously, something is happening. But listen to this. This is what I think. I think COVID is so detrimental to people's realities that they're putting up a thing. And I wish the psychologist, nobody has any guts to say anything anymore because it's too many people against you. So I think what's happening is it's so bad and so horrible that some of our brains can't accept it. And so we just go, it's a hoax. Got to be fake. And our brains just, there's a limit to what we could handle. And there's a limit to what the human mind is able to accept. And I think when they go, 7,000, 700,000 people have died. It's just spreading. Uh, I think that's too much for them. And they go, yep, yeah, nope, it's not happening. It's fake. Masks don't work. It's all fake. Lockdown's fake. Everything's fake. And I think that's how some people process it. And I think that if you have a lot of money at stake, and I think if your life is at stake and your company's at stake, subconsciously, that's how your mind is going to go. To me, the lockdown was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I went from zero to everything. I am so rich. Because of this lockdown. This lockdown rocks. But to Elon Musk, the COVID is a lose in every which way. So his brain is telling him, it's not real. It's fake. I think this showed us that people have a limit to where their reality is willing to go. Don't get mad at me. Don't hate me. I'm just seeing it how I see it. And I think people, this is that line. This is that. Up, oh, the computer freezes at this point. This is too much. In 2020 and 2021, people's brains only work up to a certain capacity. And when we told them about this, it's like if we told them about aliens, this would probably happen too. There'd be this thing where you go, oh, I'd never expected this, where half the people are denying that there are aliens, even though we showed them photos. Well, everyone in the chat is fighting now. And this yeah, I know. Isn't this terrible? Isn't so that terrible? Maybe. It, right? No, no, no. I think this is important. Stop. See, even she's bullied yeah, by the chat. I mean, duh. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is the truth. <laughs> Don't get bullied by the chat. Don't look at that stupid chat. These people are crazy. Don't look at them. Um... I don't look at the chat during this because it would break my heart to see what people think. To see what's happened here, right? Don't read it. Don't worry about them. They're wrong. And if they can't accept, you know, it was like when I saw the SJWs attack Chris Harrison. If you can't accept such a reasonable, thoughtful talk about what I'm viewing after all this time, then maybe you're unreasonable. If you can't accept, if you can't allow me to say this, you're going to bully me out of talking about what I have seen. You love all my opinions on everything else. And then when I go here, I'm not going to let you do it. I'm not going to let you tell me that I can't talk about what I'm seeing. It's it's insane. I mean, this whole show, since I started, it was because I had something to say about this shit that I don't hear anyone talking about. And then you're going to sit there biting your nails because these fucking <sighs> freaks have made us even consider that there could be a hoax in place. <laughs> really? Don't even, Jewel, snap out of it. Even you've got her shook. And this is what I mean. People have bullied everyone else, you know, and this is the right, the conservatives. You've bullied people into making us feel uncool for believing these things. 
oh, yeah, you're a lib, you're this, you're that. I don't care. I don't care what you think of me. I'm going to go with my gut like I've always gone with my gut. And why would I side with the people that I hate? You know, you've politicized all this stuff. You've made it so sick. We can't be captive. And I know you feel like this too. I go to stores and you know, like the staff, they've been told everyone's got to wear a mask. And you see the stores and you see people come in with no mask and they're afraid to say anything to the guy. Because they don't want to be yelled at. They don't want a problem. I can't believe we're living in a time where we're afraid to say what we know is right because these lunatics have multiplied to this degree to tell us that, that it's fake. We're really going to do that? We're going to play this game with this? You know me. You know I would never side with a bullshit agenda. I never have. Why would you turn on me for this? Why? I won't stand for it. I won't allow it. And if you're one of these people, don't allow it either. They're wrong. They're scared. In their feeble minds, this is the only option they could come up with. They're malfunctioning. They're not computing. And this is... What happens when a person's brain errors out because things are too extreme? And that's what you're seeing today. Please don't hurt me. I know. What Please are you doing hurt. right now? I know. Well, kill us. I don't care. I don't care. I literally don't care. These are our family secrets. It doesn't matter. You got to stop being such a fucking pussy. Seriously. Look what you've done to her. She's sitting there going, no, uh, well, I wasn't doing that. What well, doing no, about? I want to say that you're doing that. <laughs> but I wasn't. But you are That's nervous. Listen, I'm telling you, we've been so scared to say any of our opinions. And isn't that a shame? How shameful is that? That you've been such assholes that we can't say our opinions without you violently turning on us because your fucking brain can't handle what's going on and be an adult and just go, there is COVID. Let's figure this out. Instead, you want to pretend it doesn't exist so that it's easier on your mind. I've never seen something so pathetic. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Really. And it's not me. It's not them. There's nobody to blame. Deal with it. It's a virus. Deal with it. Figure out a way to deal with it. But saying it's fake is not going to make it go away. And somebody needs to have the balls to even say that. People are too afraid. People on TV won't even say it. Biden won't even fucking say it because half the country is too much of a pussy to deal with the actual problem. So they're going to pretend that it's fake. It's the most repulsive, immature, tantrumistic, display of babyism that I've ever seen in my entire existence. 37 years. And uh, I don't think that I should not say how I feel about it just because I know it's unpopular. Because it is unpopular. It's extremely unpopular. Every day. Dude, you actually believe that COVID is real? That terrifies me that somebody would even write that to me. It's it's terrifying. And what do you think? Am I a lib conspiracy? Uh, am I setting you up? Why would I do that? Why all of a sudden would I do that after saying niggers kiss today? Why would I do that? Maybe it's you. Maybe it's your grandpa and your stupid mom. Do you ever think that maybe the dumbest people on planet Earth could have it wrong? Once again, it doesn't have to be a liberals versus conservative fight. Not everything has to be that way. This must end. Right, and, too much, and I'm cold. <laughs> and, this, and this must end. You know, but I can't. I mean, every time I want to try covering something, I get ten people in the chat going, "Covid's fake, shopping a fag." This must end. 
He's sick. He's a super spreader. Andrew Schultz is a super spreader. I'm sick of being afraid of you people. There's a real I mean, disease. Really Wear a mask. Like, social try. distance. Shut the fuck up, you crazy really people. I don't want to argue with people because it's well, gay to pussy. argue with COVID stuff, but it's like everybody's like... Unsubscribe oh, from the Scars Club if you... if you don't like the opinion. <laughs> Unsubscribe and don't listen to the show that you can't get anywhere else. Do it. We don't <laughs> care. We have enough people where if half of you unsubscribe, I'm still fucking rich forever. Do you understand? If 75% of you unsubscribe, I'm rich forever. So we don't care anymore. We're going to give you the truth, whether you like it or not. And if you don't like it, go listen to a liar. Go listen to Andrew Schultz. He'll tell you the fake facts. Go listen to Mike. Go listen to Tim Dillon, who doesn't know how to say how he really feels because he's too scared. Go listen to Crowder. They'll tell you what you want to hear. But if you don't like what I'm saying, hit the unsubscribe button now. And I'll go over to Vic Berger and I'll <laughs> tell him what you've done and I'll make up the listeners. He'll promote me and I'll get more. <laughs> I'm forgetting. Don't get so mad. But we shouldn't get but stuck you, in all this stuff. No, you stop worrying. She's worried. I mean, I'm not worried. But you it's need just to stop. Like, nobody's winning here. I'm winning. I think this is so important because I've been watching this whole thing. Nobody is saying what I just said. But they are like They're a million not. Who? people. Who? I mean, yeah, of who's course. Who's saying it? But everybody who's saying it, there's Jules? People who are saying this every day, and people who no are saying liberals the are saying it. People day. that people can't trust are saying it. They're not listening. The people who listen to this show aren't hearing this from somebody that they like. They've never have. That's true. You're hearing it from libs and shitty people, and they're assuming that it's lies. I'm watching people that I like go down this totally wrong path. It's heartbreaking to me. I'm not supposed to say something. My whole thing was that I wanted to say something. I didn't build this show just for a jerk off. You're right. I want to say something. I want to say how I feel. It's frustrating to me to watch this. I have not been brainwashed. He's not having a meltdown. He's pro-gun. He fucking hates this. He says the N-word. Why would this guy tell these people they're full of shit if it wasn't true? I think that's super important, and I think there's nobody but me who could make that statement, and I think there's nobody more important, there's nothing more important to say right now than that. And I don't care how many people unsubscribe. With that, I'd like to sing you a huge, amazing song that makes you forget everything that you... You didn't even do the Jenko part. That was the point of the video. Okay, well, come on, Jules. We, we wouldn't even done all this of... COVID stuff if you... All right, would you like to see Jenko's mom reject the fan? First? Let's do the Jenko's mom reject the fan, Jules. And nobody cares. You can dox us, unsubscribe, do whatever you want. Come kill us. Come do whatever you want to us. Nothing will ever stop me. <laughs> um, nobody is afraid of any of you. All right. What is the time code, Jules, here? You want to see this stupid fucking the clip fuck of Janko? Dude, Jesus Christ. No, no, no. Do a song. No, song show the Janko time no. code, Jules. Now Come I'm on. I'm too embarrassed because now it's all because of me forcing you. So Give me a great song. Let's end with a great song. But you watched this whole Janko video and didn't even see the point. But then give me the fucking time code. You see what you've done to me and my wife? <laughs> you people out there, you fucking screwballs. You see what you've done? Because she's so on edge about this. I'm not kidding. She's so scared. No, no really. Jules, just cut the shit. Stop. You I mean, people. I'm not scared. I just think that people talk about COVID all No, no, no. Day I don't care. Just shut else. up then. It's frustrating all of us here with this horse shit. Okay. It's frustrating everyone with this horseshit. And I felt to feel... Here's what I want to say. Over the last few months, I felt a feeling where I have a strong opinion about something and I feel like the listeners are bullying me into not letting me speak. 
and I feel like you're going along with it because you care about the chat. Hold on. And I feel like it's important to break through that. I feel like it's important for the show, for the history of the planet Earth. I feel like it's important to forget those people, forget their subscriptions, forget their support. You're making it seem like I'm worrying about everybody because of their subscriptions. Well, don't worry about that. My worry isn't what people think or don't think. I just feel like nobody, everybody has an opinion about COVID. Yeah, but my opinion matters here. I think it it matters. I think it's important, and I think there's at least 10 guys out there listening right now who are going, I've been waiting to hear of something course, like but this. but everybody talks about this all day, every day. They don't. Not like this. I think they do. Sorry. Wow. No offense. This is what I think has been happening. She reads the chat, and she sees, shut the fuck up. That's, you're misinterpreting what I think. Okay, well. Sorry. All right. Well, I think they haven't heard my opinion about it, Right. Have they not heard? Have they heard my opinion? Have yes, I ever said they've anything? they've heard it. When? I mean, they've heard it now. But I think they know what you think. I think this girl's been drinking too much today. That's what I think. Um, all right. Let's end with a song. It doesn't matter. And here's what we want. We want people to go, all right, Red Bar is not going to fuck me up. They're not going to lie to me. They're not going to screw me around with some horseshit. They don't hang on to Horseshit. They're not doing this for any sort of agenda. So I thought it was important. You know what? You tell these people, they could scream at me, they could email me all they want, but I think it was important to tell them how I think. And that way we can move on. And now when I could show all these clips, here's what I want to do. There's so many clips where I go, Big Mike is super spreading right now. Andrew Schultz is super spreading right now. Look at this. And I always skip over that because I know it's going to cause a big riot in the chat. So I think what I'm doing, this is like my coming out party where I'm going, we're against super spreaders. We hate them. We hate the anti-maskers. We hate the anti-vaxxers. All right. That's what side we're on. If you don't like that, uh, unsubscribe. Go listen to another Red Bar. I dare you. And I want to cover that stuff. I want to show you when Andrew Schultz is going out spreading the fucking virus. Saying it's fake. I don't want to be held back by these people who love the N-word so much. You know, I understand. This is a breakthrough. This is a monumental podcast moment, Jules. And I think at the end of the day, people will respect that more than they will hate the opinion. And I'm willing to, to lose them all. As long as I can say I what mean, I truly I feel. I cannot say this enough. I don't give a fuck about what people's opinions are or not about COVID. I just think that there's better Look at things this guy. to talk no, about. No, you're that. wrong, Jules. You're wrong. And okay. that's why, listen, I've been doing this show for 18, 19 years. I know what's epic. I know what's going to stand the test of time. I know what's meaningful and what the people need. And I mean, whether or I not they think... I agree with you 100%, but I don't think that another... I just... I, of course, agree with you a million mm. percent, but I don't think that anyone who's made their mind is changing their mind, and I don't think, yeah. like, I know that See? you think you'll hey, change you their her. mind. No, that's, come on. She, they make it seem like, I think this is important. Nobody's you know, bullying me to think this. This is just what I think. But I don't again, get bullied by people. I just see the people who are against. Like yeah. ninety, per, you don't read the chat, and I do. Ninety percent of people agree with you, and there's like ninety percent. Yes, and there's Eureka. Like, there's like three guys who don't agree with <laughs> yeah. you, and those people are a lost cause. And who cares? Well, maybe You're somebody will clip this mind. and send this out into the universe. So why not spend time on doing the more fun stuff instead of? I think it's spending exhilarating. Time on the guys I'll tell you who this: aren't going to change their minds no matter well, what. Like it's the a good people point. who agree with you already know what you think about this, and they already yeah. do agree with you. And the people who don't, yeah. I'm sorry to tell you, I this, agree but with they're you. not changing your okay. mind because I agree of what with you, you said. Hold on. I agree with you. I think it's exhilarating. You know, when I listen to the radio, and I've made a point to to listen, when stuff like this comes up on a show, this is when you have my attention. This is when you've got my ear. And when I hear stuff like this, as controversial as it is, and as much as it pisses people off, when I hear it, I go, yeah, and then I hear a lot of people go, oh, no one wants to talk about this. Oh, no one wants to hear this anymore. They hear it everywhere else. They hear. But to me, when I'm listening to a show and I hear somebody 
get into that, I go, oh, I actually kind of like that. I don't know. Maybe you're, hey, I'm just going with my flow. I mean, but I just. If I was at home and I heard everything that just happened right now, I'd be glued to my set. I'd love See, I don't this. actually agree with you because I hear well, people's talking about the same things you just said all the time. Like, you're not the only one saying yeah. this. Well, and people say this to them all day. I Nobody's think, changing their mind here's about what, what I they think. think about this. And it's just a waste yeah. of time to well shit on the people who don't be, or who don't agree yeah. because well, they're not going to agree. So well, what's the point? Well, let's put that out there. Let's see how the response is. We'll see how the comments go. I'm sure on YouTube, when I post it on YouTube, like the post, that's where we'll hear what, <laughs> Yes, that's the truth. That's where we'll get the real truth. So I'm excited for that. Let's see what the people say. And remember, we want the people. You want to push the people to their limits, Jules. This is radio. Of course. I mean, I'm this on, is your, radio. I'm this on is... your side a million percent. Yeah. You're getting me all wrong here. I just No, I got you all like... right. Um, so I love it and, um, I hope that this will, you know, uh, do something to people. It I think won't. this will see that's where you're wrong. Oh, I don't think so. It's I think I'm going to get a lot of emails after this yes. saying, Mike, thank you so much. Yes. But those people who are saying, thank you so much. Didn't that's all need I need to know it. That's all they I need. Already know. That's all I need. You just want some reassurance. Maybe it's me reaching out to the people. To go, Mike, thank you Maybe so much. Maybe you're the one who needs reassurance. Exactly. And I do. That's fair. Yeah, I do. I've been dying for some reassurance because you can't talk to anybody about this. You're too afraid. I can't. I walk into a store. I saw a guy, the super spreader the other day. This was so scary. We see this guy. He walks in. And I'm standing by the butcher counter, right? Trying to get some steaks. And I see this guy and he walks up. No mask. As tall as can be. No mask. And I'm not kidding. He looks around. He goes like this. He goes like that. And then he goes to the counter and he goes, he leans in to the butcher. And everyone in the store is wearing a mask. It says masks only. And he leans in. And he goes, yeah, can I get a snoo shark strip, please? And he like leans in the butcher's face. And, says, and I'm looking at him. And he looks at me like this. Tall as can be. I've never seen a guy this tall. And then the butcher goes to wrap up the meat. He takes out the biggest vape I've ever seen. And he goes. <laughs> and I go, what the fuck is this guy doing? I start following him around the store. Jules is off. She don't know what the fuck's going on. I go, I'll be right back. I start following around this super spreader. And he goes to every department. No mask. Everyone's wearing a mask. He goes up to the bakery department. Hi, one loaf of bread. And he's leaning it and no one's saying a word. The employees won't say a word. The store, I'm following him around. Finally, he goes to the checkout counter. He's checking out. And they go, they're ringing him up. And you can tell they're really nervous. They're like, what is he doing? No mess. And he's vaping. And he's so tall. And he's such a cowboy. And everyone's afraid of him. And no one will say a word. And he's checking out. I finally get some guts. I go to them. I go, can I get a manager? here? I go over to the deli counter. And I go, is there a manager? They go, why? What's the problem? I go, manager, manager, manager. I go, we got a guy. No mask. And none of your employees are saying, boo, he's vaping. He's blowing it up. I think he's super spreading. I think he's trying to a infect. And super spreader. What's that? A planned super Yeah, spreader. I think there are people. This. I think there are people who go out and they try to get COVID and spread it. This happened during the AIDS thing. People would go, they would put AIDS needles on gas pumps and such so that people would get AIDS. And this guy was eyeing me the whole time. He knew I was on to him. And I told the manager about this and she looked at me and she goes, oh, okay, well, we'll see. And I go, you're anti-mask, aren't you? <laughs> and it turns out most people are anti all of this. And then she finally, the guy got out of there. She started yelling at the employees, though. She goes, you let a guy in without a mask? What's going on? You know, we live in podunk shithole town. So, you know, I don't know what I expect. But uh, this was a super spreader. <laughs> and I'm telling you, there are people out there super spreading. There's a weird fucking thing going on with this.
And I ask you all to just stop. Stop trying to pretend that it's not a thing. There's no point to this. Obviously, if you want, and as simple as it could be, here is what it is. Like, you want the lockdown to be over, right? Then just pretend then. Try pretending. Breaking the thing of the lockdown isn't going to make the lockdown go away faster. If the cases keep going up and the thing keeps going up, it's going to keep going. So just try to do something and you go, masks don't work. Yet a bandana doesn't work when it's hanging on your bottom of your neck. They're like, I wear a mat. No, you wear a bandana around your neck and then you walk around and you kiss people and you talk three inches away from you. Yeah, of course that doesn't work. If you wear the N95 and you don't go six feet apart, go six feet apart, from people, you'll be fine. We've done it. Just try that. And then your fucking lockdown will end and you'll be able to go to your uh, concerts again. Hey, can I sin- say a sincere Valentine's Day apology oh. to you? To me? What? For what? I didn't mean to bust your balls just then. And oh, I feel shit, bad man. That I was you feel bad for busting my balls? Oh, don't feel point. bad. Can I have a handshake? Oh, you can't ever offend me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel oh, bad. Oh, no. Everyone has the right to their own opinion with COVID 19 only, not anything else. You don't have the right to your opinion about anything else. I feel else, bad. I'm COVID-19, sorry. COVID-19, listen. No, everybody has their... I've been wanting to go off about this, and I feel bad that I... Oh, I don't care. I think my opinion comes from that everything else oh! is just such a bummer, and He's I want sick. this to not be the place I don't think bummer. it's a bummer. I, I think, think it's but, exciting. But I think that mentioning it brings up a bummer in people so then i'm like ugh, this sucks and i want red bar to be a place that's not a shitty place oh, don't worry about that i got this taken but care anyways, of i know I about red bar. to say i'm sorry to you for what Fuck i just small did business. To you. yeah this is what Do you i want my apology oh yes of course i didn't even know there was apology necessary oh my god here's what i want i want this lockdown to go on forever and i also <laughs> want covid to go on for i want the elderly dead I want the young dead. I wish there was a COVID that affected only kids. It killed everyone's kids only. I, the, really, that's where I'm coming from. I'm not a peopleist. I don't care about the environment. I don't care about people. But I care. Here's where I get twisted. And this is how you got it. This is why I say, you know me. I get frustrated when I see people being nonsensy. I get frustrated when I see reality being twisted. I feel like that's the scariest thing that could happen when you're going, this is reality and I'm going to defy it. This is reality. And and we started talking about the twisting of reality how many years ago on this show? And everybody was with me. Everybody was with me about the twisting of reality and how people aren't being normal and how everybody is acting crazy And this is why we started making fun of the left and the PC people because they weren't obeying reality and they were twisting reality and acting fucking nonsensical and it didn't make sense. But now we're watching people we know and respect do the same thing. And I will always be on the side with reality as far as I can see it. I'm not wrong often. And I just ask that you respect at least my agenda and know that it's nothing more than this is seems like what's reality let's not veer off because i feel like the veering off from reality is the most detrimental thing we could do to our society and our brains and at least our livelihood which we want to have what 20 more years 20 more years i say at least so we could come get a buzz Laugh at some fools. Um, I am in so much pain with my disease. Can we just that, show hold on. this Jacob video and everybody will be in a good mood after it? I, right. I had a great ending to my no, epic okay, speech. Go, 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 go. You were in so no, much it's pain, okay. but no, it's come right. on. It's okay. Just I hope it. people get my point and I hope it gets spread. And uh, I hope that people aren't mad. And I'm going to check the Scars Club numbers. And if they're <laughs> Even one lower than yesterday. Somebody's going to pay. 
But I will take on everybody, and I will take on everybody single-handedly for the rest of my life as long as I'm standing up for what I believe in. And I think that's a great message, whether you believe my message or not. My message to stand up for what you believe in is strong. I can agree with that, babe. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you, America. People are saying that I have to do a nude spin because I apologize. Do you agree with that? I don't know what you're apologizing for. I don't know what the problem is. Um, the chat is divided, they're saying. The chat is divided, and that's okay. You're allowed to be divided. that's why I divided. don't like this stuff, because I but like you're not actually coming living. here and everybody... I know, but you understand this is getting to be page. a roadblock. I know. Because we're watching a video like this, and you're seeing Janko running out. He's sick. The kid is sick, and he's going out and literally pulling down the plastic. Listen, we cover fools on Red Bar. Is there any more of a fool's move than getting sick during COVID, going out to a doctor's office, pulling down the plastic, and talking without a mask? I mean, that's a classic fool's move that I have to cover. This is why I'm frustrated. Because that is something I would cover if it was any other circumstance. I would go, look what he's doing, what a fucking idiot. And I can't say that because half the fucking world believes that it's a hoax. But it's getting in the way of my fool's coverage. I it's getting in the way of the me reason, covering I think a huge fool's because move. you're not on Twitter. I read yeah. like every tweet every day of my life. I'm refreshing Twitter every two seconds. And everything that's on Twitter is COVID stuff and people saying this stuff and arguing, fighting. So I'm like, I just, there's nothing else to be no, said. I don't care. I'm not arguing with you. I, I don't, don't give a shit what you think. I know, but I'm just saying there's nothing else to be said, really. Well, speak for yourself. You know, I don't care. Um, you know, Janko's sick. He's out spreading. I think that's a funny part. I keep getting people telling me it's a hoax. Stop believing in it. And I think that I, you know, got to say this so I could move on and show people, oh, look at this. But I totally understand. Kid's so sick. This kid is sick. He is spreading it. He's killed your grandpa. And I hope all your grandpas die from it. I hope, I hope this strain, this is what I really hope. I hope it mutates. To where it only kills 20 to 30 year olds. And that it kills all the people who have called it a hoax. And I want your friends and your kids to die from it. And I want everyone who's acted so stupidly to suffer what these other people have suffered. And I want them to go through it. And I want the people who said, hey, dumb man, I want them to watch their son die. <laughs> Because you wanted to go to a bar. That's what I want to see. That's justice for reality's sake. I would rather have 100,000 eight-year-olds die today than you guys go on to think COVID was a, co a hoax and be able to say that. I really would. <laughs> I mean, I think that's... Uh, you know, and it could happen. It really could happen. And then I think you'll go, oh, my God, I can't believe what I've done. Um, I think that uh, it's extremely dangerous and not just because of COVID, but because when you don't like something now, you just say it's fake. And this started with Trump and the fake news. And it's whenever we don't like something now, we could just go, it's fake. So I don't have to worry about it. It's fake. I think that's a disastrous way to to live life i think that's the problem don't worry it's not about covid it's not about politics it's not about anything else it's about you being able to go oh well i don't agree with that so it's just fake and let's just all pretend it's fake that's really crazy and this can't happen i don't think i mean unless you want to live in crazy world where everything gets blown up and burned so um i think what has to happen is you can't COVID can't go away and you guys go, see, I knew it was a hoax. I think what happens is uh, it has to happen is your kids need to die and they need to not only just die from a, like a lung disease, but they need to slowly burn in front of you. For me, self combust it's like the fear of another bad thing happening. They're like going their nuts. Look at so these people easily be. I mean, I actually don't even want to say that because what? every time I start doing a COVID thing, I'm like, this is gay, but 
There could so easily be another pandemic that people. kills people instantly. Yeah. And this COVID could be like a preparation for something horrible that could happen in the future. And it's just proving how yeah. we're not going to survive. And listen, um, we may never know the truth these days. You never know the truth. And, um, but yeah, I would like it to where you got these guys, they say it's a hoax. And then their kid self combusts. What do they call that? Where the kid sets on fire and he's daddy, daddy, bye, bye, bye. And he turns to ash in front of you. And then in the ash, as it falls to the ground, it spells out COVID. And it burns a permanent stain into your floor. And then you go, I don't know. Could it have been COVID? Could have been something else. All right. I think we should drink. Let's still have a toast. Are you able to toast with me, even if you don't agree with me? Guys, let's just put this behind us. Even if you hate us for what we just said, can we do a toast? Isn't it funny that you have to even ask people to put this? You shouldn't even have to ask. You should be like, well, who would possibly be on the opposite See, opinion? We of had this? such a great day. Now I'm like depressed. Well, that's that all you. Really that's all in your head. You're just new to the radio business. I'm telling that's you. That's true. That's just you being new, oh, new and to work. The radio business. Exactly, oh. Robbo. That's just you being new. I've been around forever, and I used to do controversial topics like this all the time, and people would rant and rave and they'd complain and they'd cry, but at the end of the day. This is what they want to hear, whether they like it or not. And um, it makes you worry. You know, you don't want to see people aggravated. You don't want to, especially during the end of the show, no one wants to see anyone aggravated, but they're not aggravated. They're activated. Cheers to everybody. The homos, the Negroes, the T's. I mean, I can't even make her laugh right now. No, She's yes, up. I can. Cheers, yeah. everybody. <laughs> You're over exactly. To the homos. Can we have a toast? To the homos. To the Negroes. To the... You know why the conservatives don't get along with the uh, liberals? It's because they don't have a thing that rhymes with homo. You know, because I'm like, the homos, the Negroes. And you know what? The now Latino that I think of this, everyone who's like... Why are we, even me included, because I was just saying this. Yeah. People are like, why are we talking about this for an hour? Think of this as we just did six hours of other stuff and this is well, You the gotta bonus stop worrying. You gotta stop worrying. I mean, it, it's good to worry. I disagree no, with that. I think you should not. worry about what you're saying well, out loud to people at all times. She's gonna get hit after the show. Don't worry about that, but everyone's cheersing. Look at this, Jules. You're blowing the cheers. I'm people cheersing? are cheersing. It's called you're drink. Right. Cheers, everybody. To a wonderful episode. Cheers, Mike. There you I go. I love you. Thank you so much. And it's Valentine's Day. You've already accepted my rose. <laughs> Let's sing to a Jewish song. Here you go. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>